Okay, in the last tutorial, we learnt how to set up our website in Rapid Weaver. We learnt how to add an image and some basic text. I'm going to show you a few more features that will enable you to make a really nice looking website. Okay, so at the moment, we've got, as I said, just some text and an image. We want to add some more on this side of the page. Now in Rapid Weaver, it comes with a pre-built sidebar for you to add extra information. In. Now it's really blank at the moment, makes it look really plain. We want to fill this content area up. So make sure you're in preview mode. Yep, not in the edit mode, because we need to go to page info and make sure we've got sidebar selected. Okay. And because mine's a car garage, I'm just going to put latest cars. And what that will do, it's automatically updated for me. And I've then already got, I've got a few more pictures of some extra cars that I want to put in. And I've got a really nice Audi R8 here, so I'm going to dump that in. And as you can see, it's far too big. So double click on your image. For just the size, I would say about 25%, I'd guess. Very good guess. And I'm going to put the price underneath. So let's just say £70,000 for that. And then I want to add, I've got a Ferrari here I want to put in. Let's drag that Ferrari in. Again, far too big. Again, I'm going to guess about 25%. Make it a bit smaller. A bit too big that time. Needs to be a little bit smaller. Let's say 22. That looks about right to me. And let's say the Ferrari costs a little bit more, 89,000. Okay. Now I want to push these two images down a little bit, just so it's in line with the bottom of the main image, because it's pushed up a little bit too much. So let's just get to the left this image here, and then press Enter, just to budge them down a little bit more. Makes it look a little neater, nice and in line. Okay, the next thing we want to do, we want to add a hyperlink into this website. Now, first of all, we need something to link to. So I'm just going to say, for more information on any of these cars, please visit www.parkers.co.uk um, Parkers is a well-known car website it's information so let's go and find, let's go get the address so Parkers and here we go loads of information about cars but what we're going to do we're just going to copy and paste this link so highlight copy and let's go back to Rapid Weaver we're going to highlight what we want, so let's just highlight that text there. And I'm going to go to this bottom left hand link here, add link, you can see it's done that. And let's just paste that in there. It's important that you have the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Okay? It will put that in automatically, but just double check in case it hasn't, but it should put it in automatically. If you just put www dot, it won't work. It has to have HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And it's also always nice to have it open in a new window rather than just change the page you're on. So it's always nice to have it open in a new window. So check that box. And let's set that link, and we can see there now it's give, given us a link. Now, so far, we've just been previewing our page using the built-in previewer. Okay, we can see there that we've got a link, we've got our two images that we added in our sidebar, but I want to preview this actually in a browser. Let's see how it looks in Safari. So, the easiest way to do this, little cog in the bottom left hand corner here, and go to preview, and go to Safari. Okay, click Safari, and there we go, that's how our 
current website looks. Uh, let's just test this link. Let's see if it works. Click on parkers.co.uk and it's taken us to parkers.co.uk. Notice it's opened in a new page because we clicked the open in new window box. Now I've got both websites open. If I hadn't checked that box, it would have just replaced this page and we would have had to use the, the navigation um, arrows here to go back. Right, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some extra pages to your website to really start developing it.